Bro, when I'm telling you that this project pretty much came out of nowhere, bro. The project dropped, actually, the project dropped Thursday. But um, I was pretty much, I had some work stuff going on. So that's why I'm checking this shit out Friday. And I just got out of work. And I couldn't wait to hear this shit. Couldn't wait to react to it, bro. Just because, man, like like I said, it came out of nowhere. And then, too, it's like, damn, Dreamville and Gangsta Grizz, bro. Which, that's another thing, too, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? DJ Drama, bro, especially, like, coming out the damn the toddler creator project, bro. DJ Drama has really been, I feel like he been getting his flowers lately far as, like, just him, you know what I'm saying, the way he's brought to hip-hop, especially with, like, the Gangsta Grizz uh, tape and stuff like that. But far as, like, Dreamville and stuff, man, of course, bro, Dreamville, you know what I'm saying, the last project that they dropped together was the Return of the uh, Revenge of the Dreamers 3, and they had the deluxe version or whatever, but individually, you know what I'm saying, we've been having people drop since then. Uh, Earth Gang and drop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Loot dropped Gold Mouth Loot. Think G is supposed to be on the way. Of course, J Cole and drop since then. I want can't wait for another Ari project. Project Cause drop was okay to me. Man, we finna get out here getting into it, man. This is like it's called D Day, bro. D Day, a Gangsta Grills mixtape, bro. So I don't know if it's finna be a bunch of explosions or I don't know what what we finna get. But I know this shit is about to be epic, bro. I can't wait. Without further ado, let's get out here getting into it. Y'all liking the content and all this stuff, man. Man, please like, subscribe, and comment. Trying to be more consistent with the content. And also, bro, leave y'all suggestions in the comment section below. Thank y'all for watching this. Let's go. So the first song we got on here is called Stick. And we got Jid, Sheck West, J. Cole, and Kenny Mason on it. Let's go. We did see this coming. Hey. I got a new stick, bitch. I got a new stick. I bet that's Kenny. Hand on my dick and the hand on my gun. One off from shooting and one off for fun. But it's a double line tundra because you can uh, you can do both with both. Oh my god. Oh my god, those are different guns. Stick, 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 stick. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Oh. 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 The next song we got on here is the Ghetto Gods Freestyle with Earth Gang and Two Chains. Where let's go. Hold on, no. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Talk your shit. Oh, yeah. I respect the honesty change. All right, so the next one we got on here is called Lifestyle, and this guy Boss and ASAP Ferg. <laughs> Okay. Ready? Yeah. And you still do this. Whoa. Don't worry about me, sir. I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna get that one day. Now look, the next song we got on here is called Starting Five, and they got Luke, Cause, and Omen. Let's go. Shit. You go through levels, nigga. Sweaty helps you. Put in the work. I promise God gonna bless you. Mm. So long living as living talkers. That nigga cause is saying a lot right now. But what? <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is going to age well or not because he's saying the people releasing mid like DeMar DeRozan. I'm like, bro, come on. Have you not seen what DeMar DeRozan been doing this year, bro? DeRozan. Put the boots up. Oh, my. Have you not seen that? Bro, stop playing with DeMar DeRozan head top, bro. I need to drop 50 to the other night. Come on. Come on, bless it. It calms stress it. 
extraordinary person can relate to John Legend. It's <laughs> put my pain in perspective while I roll pine. Last few years, now I'm back in your starting five. Ah, he's been on the bench. Okay. I like how this beat switch. I ain't even gonna lie, bruh. I kind of fuck with Omen's part like the most out of everybody, bruh. And he had a beat switch and everything. I felt the dramatics, you know what I'm saying? The next song we got on here is Coming Down and it's Ari Lennox. Let's go. Hey. Uh. You gonna do that shit, my world? Shoot the shoot coming down. Oh, hey. My hands upside down. Cause you be on them drugs. So the next song we got on here is called Hair Salon. Oh shit. Cause Reason and G Perica. Okay, bro. This is a this is this is a West Coast Dreamville exclusive right here. Let's go. Hey. Mm. How this? <laughs> Three wise. Three wise. <laughs> all right, that, all right, that was a nice song. I fuck with them. The next song we got on here though, it's called Freedom of Speech, and then had just J Cole on. <laughs> <laughs> this you honest with yourself? <laughs> Bars. Hey, talk that talk, Cole. Cole been talking this shit a lot lately, bro. He really has been. So, next song we got on here is called Blackberry Sap, and it got Ari Lennox. Again, solo, let's go. Mm. This is one of them busted songs. All right, so the next song we got on here is called Like Wine, and it got Luke. Come on. Hey. I like how he was rapping over that shit, bro. I really did. The next song we got on here is called Jazzy Flows, and it got Boz and Ert Gang. <laughs> All right, so the next song we got on here is called Barry from Simpson, and it got Jid, Two Chains, and Young Nudie. This is some Atlanta shit. Let's go. Not to cut that shit up, Quay. Let's go. I'm gonna get it done from a city that don't see the sun. Either you a sinner or a citizen. Hey! I'm in Jamaica, Jip playing rugby, stand in my van, stand in my van. Mmm. Jumped up, forgot my shirt. Nigga, J.I.D. stands for jump in dirt. That nigga said J.I.D. stands for jump in dirt. Boy, what the fuck, bro? Stop playing with this man, bro. Come on. Just stay inside. Don't play no fence. No switch, no size. Go grab a switch. Bruh. Bruh. 
This man got the best flow in hip hop, hands down. <laughs> Let's go. So next song we got on here is got everybody ain't shit and we got Earth Gang on it. Okay. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. <laughs> oh wow. This shit feel like the damn Spider-Man meme with everybody pointing at each other, goddamn. Like you ain't shit, you ain't shit, I ain't shit, but he ain't shit also. <laughs> All right, so the next song we got on here is called Ballin' in Newport, and they got Omen on it. Stage nine, the brothers I never had. Times forever last inside my paragraph. My mother is a goddess. When I went hey. to college, now I'm a whole pilot. Brothers that I never said I was born, <laughs> but the feeling was mutual. Okay. Turn down king, give a fuck what you used to. Never hey. ever Never, ever I know my worth. Even if they don't rap me, more dollar signs, more bitches. I can't exactly follow what you say. Like, never, never ever felt, felt so free. free. Ah, like done made the whole game like Yannis. Yannis. Freestyle. The last and final song. The last song we got on here is called Big Trouble Freestyle. I know Heaven's EP comes after this, but I didn't heard that already. Made a whole video talking about it. So yeah, I'm gonna link that. But yeah, Big Trouble Freestyle with Cos. Let's go. Okay, who shot you? Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. Time out. I don't know if that was a time. Okay, I don't think it was a time. Holland did. I I don't know. I ain't trying to reach, but damn. Zendaya fuck with the song. That's cool. And I was always wondering about that, but then Tom Holland came out of nowhere. So you know what I'm saying. I fuck with Spider. Man too, so I don't know. I'm a fire. My fire. Who shot you? What can I really say about this project right now? I like it, bro. I like it for what it is, bro. As far as like a Gangsta Grizz tape and stuff like this, bro, I feel like this sort of embodied, like, you know what I'm saying, what a newer Gangsta Grizz tape sound like or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Of course, Tyler Creator had his spin on it recently or whatever, which was dope too. Now, as far as like comparing it to like the Revenge of the Dreamers project, I don't know about that, cause I I, I I I ain't gonna lie, I love that one. I love that compilation. But this right here though, I like it. As far as like all the songs and stuff, they don't really feel forced or nothing like that. But at the same time, I do feel like it's some songs on here that I can like go without. I just breaking it down with the production and stuff. I feel like the production on here for the most part, I ain't gonna lie, kind of got like it, it it got an Atlanta feel. I'm gonna I'm gonna say what it is. I feel like everybody came like hard on here, bro. One thing about it, everybody came hard on here. Now production wise, some. some Songs on here, here and now they kind of like hit or miss for me. But far as like everybody just delivering their damn verses and just doing their own thing, bro, everybody did nice. I love Ari Lennox on this on her by herself and junk on her two songs, especially, bro. I like the coming down joint. Now I ain't gonna lie, I feel now I do feel like production wise coming down that song they could have flipped that production better. But I liked R. Lennox delivery on it. I liked how I liked how she flipped that into his own thing or whatever. I like how they had tracks on here with like people that's like, you know what I'm saying, from like the same area. So you know what I'm saying, Jig who had like an a, Atlanta song or whatever, where it was like him, two chains and young nudie. I love oh my bruh, Jig to me, hands down, I got one of the best flows in hip hop. But yeah, we I feel like we knew that already. But Man, I like how they did that and then even gave like a West Coast side of it with like G Perico, you know what I'm saying? And um 
And they even and they even get and they even get like the West Coast side of it with like G Perico, Reason, and um fuck Cause or whatever. And even had the West Coast version of it with like G Perico, Cause and Reason, which was dope too. Like far as the features and stuff on here, I like everybody on here for the most part. The song stick, I ain't gonna lie. I do like the song stick, but for some odd reason, like I don't know, I feel like that song a little longer than it should be, where I feel like that song should be kind of Cutting off like they kind of drug it or whatever. The Sheck West features what really caught me off guard. The Kenny Mason one, I wasn't really surprised by, you know what I'm saying, especially with the Atlanta connection up. But two change, bro. Oh shit, Ghetto Gods Freestyle. That's another one. It's like that Atlanta connection. Now you do got the songs on here. They kind of got like this boom bapish sort of feel, but like the vibe on it kind of like on like some more chillish type of time. And it's like on your more rapidly rap type shit, especially with, you know what I'm saying, people like Omen, you know what I'm saying, loot on like wine. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I feel like everybody on here as a whole came and did their thing, bro. ASAP Fur, I love, I love his verse on here, bro. I honestly, like I said, bro, I, I can't. I would love to hear another cozy tapes. I would love to hear a cozy tapes three. I don't know if we gonna ever get it or not. Probably won't at this point. Um, two chains, bro. Two chains really been killing shit, bro. He been killing all his feature verses and stuff lately, bro. Bro, I loved him on the song with Earth Gang, bro. I really, honestly, bro, I liked his verse on them more than I like them Earth Gang shit, bro, you know? Um, but on the song with Jid, though, Jid and Young Nudie, I wish Young Nudie would have had a verse. But it was cool to him talking shit, bro. And I like, bro, I need, we need more Jid. We need more Jid and Nudie tracks, bro. We need more Nudie and Dreamville tracks, like, as a whole. This is a cool project. I don't know what's going to come in the future or whatever. Um... I really don't. I don't know what's going to come in the future from all this, but I like the direction that Dreamville is going in. My bad, the camera cut off, but yeah. Like I was saying, though, yeah, man, J. Cole as like an executive producer and stuff, him as like running like a label and stuff, I don't really feel like he get talked about a lot, bro, because I'm like, bro, legit, man, everybody, bro, I feel like everybody eating in some way, shape, or form. I seen Royce the Five Nine sort of like make a comment about it saying like, for us like this three-headed snake, the big three, who's the top three artists and stuff. He's saying he kind of transcend transcending it just like with the way he running things, like with his artists and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying, dropping projects. Like this ain't no no... I don't know. This ain't really on no like TDE shit where we like sitting up here just waiting on everybody. I feel like everybody, you know what I'm saying, coming with some. Only person that ain't really dropped nothing in the minute that I'm, ooh, Jid, come on, bro. It's been, what, damn near four years, man. Shit, R. Lennox, I think R. Lennox finna be going on four years, too. So, yeah, bro, like, it, I feel like we in a cycle or whatever, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like these people, the people I just named, gonna, gonna be dropping soon. And we're gonna get, I feel like we're gonna get, like, some consistent drops, you know what I'm saying, from, like, different artists from Dreamville. With that being said, bro, thank y'all for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on my social media apps and all that stuff. You got your own music, anything like that, be sure to inbox it to me at the social media app right here. But, yeah, this is T-Shine 9 once again. Thank y'all for watching this. Peace.